Hey, I'm Alec, and today we're going to build some desk organizers on this weekend build. We all know Matterhack is the place to go for all your digital fabrication needs, whether it's a new 3D printer for your print farm or a series of reliable and budget friendly filament. Today I'm going to be working with the new Creality Pro series of printers, the CR20 Pro, the Ender 3 Pro, and the CR10S Pro. With Creality, it's easy to start at the ground level and upgrade your printer to the level that you need it, whether it's adding a new hot end for higher temperature materials or changing the extruder to something that's better suited for flexibles. You can get a dozen of these printers, set them all up, and with their huge build plates, it's really easy to set up one part in a whole grid across the bed and print out dozens of them at a time. And today, we'll be doing just that using these in a print farm sort of setting, and using our MH build filament to print out all these parts. For this weekend build, I will be creating some desk risers for the monitors in the studio here. Now we all have monitors on our desks, some of us have two, some of us have one, but they just take up a lot of desk space, so it'd be nice to have them elevated so we both are looking up a little higher, we're not hunched over, and it's going to provide for more opportunities for organization. Now as part of these desk risers, I'm going to add some components to them to better help with organization, like putting a cable organizer run along the bottom of it so that we can have the wires of the monitor and keyboard and mouse all go through that, and put a grommet through the top of it so that those wires don't just hang off the back and into the organizer, they'll actually go through the top of the riser and into it, and then it can go back behind the desk. On top of that, we'll make one through hole that we can use as either a cup holder or a pencil holder and have a couple different attachments that can drop in there instead. Now let's get designing. From our local hardware store, I got some half inch by one foot by four foot boards and then chopped off the ends to make those the legs of the actual risers. And I used a table saw here, but you could just as easily use a circular saw, a jigsaw, or even a hand saw to get this done. There we go. We got the boards, we got the legs, and we got the hardware. Now funnily enough, it was a lot easier for me to set this up on the X-Carve than it was to go out and purchase a new jigsaw or hole saw to get this done, but those will work just as well, in fact even quicker. Now here we have the catch-all hole cut out, we have the grommet hole cut out, and then I'm going to use a little sandpaper to just deburr the edges and make them nice and smooth. So the first thing I need to design is the actual desk clamp, it's the part that's going to hold the two sides to the top. It's going to be a little wedge that's going to go in the corner and then another piece about shaped like this that's going to just squeeze and hold the two edges together. So I'll just have a bolt running through that with a nut on this side and that's going to help clamp it all together. Now I may use two on either side, I may use three on either side, I'm going to have to see what holds better because if I do need three, it's super easy, I can just print a couple more and be done with it. I jumped into Fusion 360 and modeled up the clamps that would hold the two boards together. Didn't have to look pretty, just had to work, but I still added some chamfers anyways. From there, I dropped into Matter Control and set up two of them so I could do a batch print. And from there, I could start messing with the print settings to prioritize strength. Now the holes I made in the clamps are actually a little too small for the screws I was using. I could go back, remodel them and reprint, but it's a lot easier just to melt the parts a bit and jam an Allen key in there and twist it to get the right shape. From there, I just had to tighten them up, up against the boards and let them do their thing and there we go. For cable organization, it's going to be pretty easy because I just need to make a grommet and a cable organizer. Now the grommet's just going to be a thin walled cylinder with a brim at the top and then the cap that goes into it. And the cap, I'll just use the layer lines to help lock it in rather than using any sort of screws or adhesive so it can just slot in there, press fit, and be good to go. This project was made possible using some of Creality's latest 3D printers, the CR10S Pro, the CR20 Pro, and the Ender 3 Pro. Three really reliable and really affordable machines that can really get your foot in the door with 3D printing or help beef up your print farm and get a lot more machines running at once. This project was also made possible using MH Build, a really reliable and affordable material that has a lot of different color options. Now let's get designing. Modeling the grommet was pretty easy, it was just a bunch of cylinders that were stacked on top of each other and then a nice press fit once they were printed. Didn't have to do any sort of cleanup work to get these to fit, just a little super glue on the walls of this and then I could press that into the board and the glue would hold it up. And that's it, perfect fit. For the organizers, I'm just going to create the outline of a hook in 2D and then extrude that up and put some holes in it for some wood screws so I can drill that into the bottom of the desk riser. Designing the cable organizer was really easy, I just had to make the outline, extrude it, put some chamfers in a hole, and then some chamfers on that for the wood screw.
Before I screwed this in, I just wanted to lightly get the screws through so I could mark where this would need to drill into the wood. And then I used a straight edge to help line up one with the second one so that they were parallel instead of at wonky angles from each other. And I just had to be very gentle with this so it didn't just punch through the print, but good to go. There's our cable organizers. The last thing I need to model is the catch-all hole, which I'm going to use as a pencil holder or as a cup holder, depending on which version I print. So to do that, I'm just going to make something very similar to the grommet, where it's a thin-walled cylinder with a brim at the top. That's going to go in the hole that's in the desk riser. And then I'll make two separate parts, whether I want to use pencils or cups. So the pencils will just be totally solid. There isn't going to be any holes at the bottom. Whereas the cup holder, I'm going to use with some perforation or some sort of grate on the bottom so that when you insert them, the condensation doesn't just pool in there. It'll just drip through. But then you can just insert it and swap them out. Maybe some people want to have a cup holder, some want to have a pencil holder. Really easy to swap it out and makes it super modular. Let's get to it. The catch-all is actually my favorite part of this project because it's just a bracket that glues into the board, but then there's a second part that gets slotted into it that can be customized per person. So it could be a cup holder, it could be a pencil organizer, it could really be anything we want, just got to be circular. Just a little glue around the ring, press that into the board, let that cure, and then I could drop in the cup holder. It was a lot of fun building these desk risers and really allowed me to utilize the Creality 3D printers as a sort of print farm. And now that I have them set up, I could batch out a ton more for the rest of the office if I so choose. And on top of that, I had the freedom of using MH Build to customize each desk riser to match the preferences of the user. Like in my case, I went with white and orange. Stay tuned for the next weekend build. I'm Alec from Matter Hackers. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. If you like that, give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all the big builds, how to's and troubleshooting guides I'll be working on. And don't forget, check out matterhackers.com to explore everything 3D printing and to join the community.